Hello everybody! In this video I will show you another interesting discovery with my high voltage impulse generator that you see here. And in the last video I showed you the base principle of this setup with a bifolar coil and a cylindrical coil that get pulsed at the resonance frequency of the coil. And what I've done here is I've added another coil, a cylindrical coil on top of the longer cylindrical coil. And this is made with a 2.5 square millimeter wire. So it's not so many turns like with the fine wire coil. And this is basically to pick up the voltage from this electric field that is generated here. And I've connected both ends of the coils the LED ring that I used in my earlier videos to show the range of the field. So this green cable that you see here is just connected to the ground point where I connected my MOSFET. So just at one end of the coil is grounded. If I disconnect this one you will see the lights will get a lot dimmer and if I connect it back again, they will shine brighter again. And on the oscilloscope you can already see the signal that is picked up with this probe that is just laying right here, it's not connected to anything. And as you can see, if I come closer, yeah, the amplitude also gets higher, of course. But these high voltage bikes that you see here are already exceeding what the oscilloscope can show. So from top to bottom this would be 4 kV. And this is when the probe is not connected. When it's connected anywhere to the system, like for example here, you will see the spikes will grow much more violently and exceed it even more. So what is interesting here is that I can power this whole LED ring. I think it's about 30 LEDs. These are 1 watt LEDs. Of course not fully powered. But if you can see the power consumption on my power supply that is powering the whole thing is very low. It fluctuates a bit. But overall, you can see the power consumption is really low. Even if I turn up the voltage even more, now I turn it up to 24 volts. And as you can see, the LEDs get even brighter. And yeah, power consumption stayed roughly the same. It fluctuates between 10 and 40 milliamps at 24 volts. And to show you that it is really just the power supply that is powering this, I will just turn it off. And you can see the LEDs also turned off. So it is not the um, audio amplifier that is switching the MOSFET on and off. It is not um, here to power the LEDs. You can see on the oscilloscope we have a slight signal that is from my audio amplifier, but this signal is just to switch the MOSFET on and off. And basically this is just to switch the coils on and off with this 24 volt DC signal that I have here. So yeah, I think that is pretty interesting. And another thing I recognize is when I look at my oscilloscope, I will zoom in a bit. You will see we have one large spike and then two smaller spikes. So this would be the resonance spikes. And depending on what voltage I use, you will see when I turn down the voltage, we will only have one of these resonance spikes. And when I turn it up, we will get a third one. And then also the LEDs grow, glow brighter. So, 
yeah I think that is all for now I will try to build different coils here that I can add on top of it I tried to get a lower voltage when um, adding a coil with a few bindings on top of this but what I could measure um, when I just connect the probe to it I don't even have to connect to it you will see already on the oscilloscope the voltage spikes are still incredibly high even if I connect it directly so this doesn't work like a regular transformer when you add a coil with few windings with thick wire on top of a winding with a lot of wires or a lot of windings normally the voltage would decrease but here this isn't the case it is just that the frequency itself changed but the voltage stays high so yeah I'm thinking of how I could get the voltage coming from this coil lower but right now I don't know how to do that but anyways that's it for this video so thanks for watching and goodbye